Hey everyone, Doug from Convology, and in this video we're going to take a look at the brand new feature that allows you to sell Thrive Apprentice courses using WooCommerce. This is now a native integration with Thrive Apprentice, so there's no need to do any workarounds. It's going to work right out of the box, and I'm going to show you how to walk through that whole process in this video. So the first thing you want to do is go to Thrive Apprentice and make sure you have a course. I'm going to go ahead and add a new course just for this video. We'll call it the best course ever. And you'll have to make sure that your course has uh, content and that you have it published. So first we're going to save our course and then we're going to come to the content and we're going to add just a lesson so that we can publish it. We'll call it the best lesson ever. We'll click save and we'll just publish this lesson so that our course can go live. Now we click publish so that our course is live. Great. Now the next step is to go to WooCommerce. So if you haven't already, be sure you install WooCommerce and follow the basic setup. We're not going to do anything crazy inside of WooCommerce right now. Just simply show you how to connect Thrive Apprentice and WooCommerce together. So before we jump over to WooCommerce, I do want to draw your attention to the access restrictions tab. You want to make sure that you toggle on restrict access. And then down here, you'll see a new section called WooCommerce product. If you click on that and expand it out, you'll see that it says Thrive Apprentice course access is handled inside of WooCommerce products. This is the same as with Thrivecart. So what Thrive has done is essentially said, we're not going to control any of that here. We're going to let you do it in the other tool. So let's jump into WooCommerce, set up a product so we can sell our course and I'll show you how to set up those access restrictions. So first we wanna to go to products and we want to add a new product into WooCommerce. And just like our course is called the best course ever, let's call our product the best course ever. Now you can set up anything you want here. You can uh, set up a description. You can build yourself a product page. There's plenty of great courses and videos that I have on my channel showing how to do that in Thrive Theme Builder. I also have a course on Thrive Theme Builder that shows you how to walk through all of the WooCommerce setup for all of your templates. So definitely check that out if you're looking for a little bit more info on how to use Thrive Theme Builder with WooCommerce. But for this tutorial, we're gonna keep it simple. So we're going to scroll down and we're going to find in our product page here where the product data is at. We're gonna go ahead and leave this as a simple product, but if this was a subscription, you could get the subscription plugin for WooCommerce and change it to simple subscription. We're gonna check the virtual box, which means it's an intangible good and does not need any shipping info. And we're going to set a price. For this demo, I'm just gonna put zero. This is a free course that I'm going to air quotes sell, but you could put 199, 5,000, whatever you want there. Then on the left-hand side, we're going to see the Thrive Apprentice tab, click on that. We're going to search for our course. When I click into the box, there's my course, the best course ever. All I have to do is select that, make sure it's in that box down there, and then I'm done. We've created our product, we've created our course, we're ready to sell, we have our template in Thrive Theme Builder and WooCommerce ready to go and everything looks great. There's a couple of things we still have to do on the WooCommerce side to ensure that users create accounts and get access to the courses that they purchase. So we wanna to go to our WooCommerce settings section, and then we want to go to accounts and privacy, and you want to make sure that customers can't place orders without an account. So we want to uncheck that box. We also want to check the box that allows our customers to log into an existing account during checkout. If someone already purchased courses on your website, you want them to be able to log back in to purchase another one and not have to create another account. So we'll check the box that allows customers to log into existing, car existing accounts during checkout. And we also want to allow our customers to create an account during checkout. That just makes sense for new students to be able to choose a username and a password. Now, this is up to you. For these two check marks, when creating an account, automatically generate an account username for the customer based on their name, surname, or email. Essentially, when you check this box, it's going to use their email address. I technically like that, but it's up to you. And then when creating an account, automatically generate an account password. You can uncheck that to allow people to choose their own passwords. It's helpful and sometimes a better user experience to do it that way, but that's entirely up to you. So now once you have those things just like you like them, press the save button. And now we're ready to go and see what the checkout experience looks like for the customer. All right, so here we are on the best course ever product page designed in Thrive Theme Builder. And we're going to click add to cart. So this is the exact same experience you would use in WooCommerce for just about any product that you've set up and you're going to proceed to checkout. Now here we are on our checkout page. We are not currently logged in, but we have filled out some of our basic information. You'll see here at the top that if they are a returning customer, they can log in. And if they have a coupon code, they can enter that there. And then if we scroll down even further, you can see that it's time to create a password if we are new to purchasing products or courses with you. 
So you'll see that this is required, so they're not gonna be able to check out without creating a password. So let's go ahead and set one of those up. All right, with our password in, our email set, all of our other information in, we can go ahead now and click place order. And now this is still going to behave exactly like WooCommerce. So for me, it's sending people to the page where they can see their order details. They're going to see this fully customized using Thrive Theme Builder and WooCommerce together. So that is a really neat thing because that means what you can do is edit this page. You could add buttons for them to go and view the course index. You could send them to a member dashboard. You could send them to their account page. And that's really one of the benefits of using the WooCommerce checkout experience with Thrive Apprentice. It's that WooCommerce as an ecosystem as an ecosystem is really seasoned. It has a lot of integrations and, com and compatibilities with other great tools. For example, like I mentioned before, cart flows to help you build funnels. And because we're using Thrive Theme Builder, like I said, you can fully customize everything about this, fully customize the way it looks and behaves. All right, so we've purchased the course, we've seen the order details, and we're ready to go and check out that course. Now, Let's jump back into our admin account because I want to show you a couple more things you can do inside the back end of Thrive Apprentice to create a really nice experience for both your students and those who are looking to become your students as well. So to do that, we're going to still be under the access restrictions tab, but we're going to look at these two options right here. If a guest tries to access this course without being logged in, what do we want to have happen? I recommend you change this away from default site behavior and you change it to something else such as displaying custom content or redirecting to the login page or redirecting to a custom page. So if they're not logged in, we have to think about this. They could still be one of our students. They could still have purchased the course, just not be logged in. So it doesn't make a lot of sense to always send them to a sales page. Instead, let's send them to a custom page that says this course is available for logged in users only. Click here to log in or click here to purchase the course. So let's go ahead and display custom content. And you'll see that they give us the ability to edit this with Thrive Architect. So let's go ahead and click that now. So this is the default page that Thrive gives you. It's really not that bad, but you can fully customize this using Thrive Architect. So on the right hand side, we can expand out our element tray and we could add our own images, our own logos, but I'm just gonna focus on adding two buttons. So we have the click here to log in button and I'm just gonna duplicate that for our demo and say, click here to buy the course. So you can see what I'm getting at, right? If they're a student, we're gonna let them log in. And if not, we're gonna let them buy the course. Now, when the person clicks the click here to log in page, let's take a look at where that's going to send them. Inside of Thrive Apprentice, if we go to the gear section and we go to settings, you're going to see that we have a section called login and access restrictions. If we click on that, it's going to show us the page that we send people to when they're not logged in or to the login and registration page. So for us, we can create a fully custom experience by clicking create new page. And let's go ahead and call this our custom course login page and click add page. And now let's edit that with Thrive Architect. Now by default, they give us a fairly nice looking page. We have our header and our footer that are defined by our theme, in this case, Thrive Theme Builder. And we have a login form here in the middle of the page. Now I'm assuming that on my website, I'm only going to sell courses. So let's go ahead and click on our login and registration form and determine what happens after a successful login. So instead of just refreshing the page, I'm going to choose to redirect to the Thrive Course Index, the Apprentice Course Index, and click Apply. Now you also have the choice to allow users to register on this page as well. I'll leave that up to you, but I typically like to have them register during the purchase process instead of creating an account right here. Um, but again, totally up to you. If you wanna restrict this just to be able to log in, you can click up here under type in the left, click login, and it will remove that registration option. And then on the left, you'll see that we only have after successful login. So for now and demo purposes, we've created a login page and we're going to click save work. Okay, so let's do a quick review. We've set up our course, we set up our product, we set it up so that when somebody tries to access our product and they aren't logged in, we send them to an error page that says, hey, you're not logged in. If you already own the course, click here to log in. If you don't own the course, click here to go buy it. And we link that off to the sales page. Now there's one other thing we need to do and that's if people are logged in and don't have access, we need to show them a similar error page. So let's go back to our courses find our best course ever that we made, go to access restrictions. And this is what we just set up. We just set up if a guest tries to access. Now let's set up if a user tries to access without having access. So let's walk through that. 
they are logged in and they haven't purchased the course because it's not in their account yet. So let's still show them some custom content. I like to do that. Or we have another option here. We can redirect to a custom page. In fact, that might be the best experience if you want to send them directly to a sales page. But I use this one and let me show you why. I think it's a pretty good user experience. So let's go ahead and click Edit with Thrive Architect. And you'll see that Thrive gives us that same default page. And what's really cool about this is that instead of just dropping them on a sales page, which could feel a little abrupt and cold, we can fully create a page here that says, you know, welcome to the best course ever. This is a fantastic course that has all of these things in it. This is for uh, paying students only or members only or for those who've purchased the course. If you'd like to learn more, click here. So we can customize this to be more of like a feel good experience for them rather than just boom, drop right on a landing page, but it's up to you. So if we like this, we can set this up here to then link off to a sales page. And once we have this page looking like we want it, we click save work. Now we jump back here and click save and we're good to go. So let's look at what that experience looks like for us now that we've purchased the course and set up all of these access restriction custom content pages. Now let's try to access the best lesson ever since we're not logged in. So you can see we have the custom error information here that says, hey, you don't have access, click here to log in or click here to buy the course. Now, this was one of the settings that we chose. We chose to have the custom content. We could have taken them to a full experience where it does not keep all of this Thrive Apprentice framing around it. That choice is up to you and you can figure that out under the restrict access error pages. But let's go ahead and click login. And you can see when we do so, we're taken to our custom login page that we just created. And let's log in using those credentials that we checked out with when we purchased this course in WooCommerce. All right, let's click log into your account. And there we go. We successfully logged in and we were automatically redirected back to the best lesson ever, which I think is a really nice feature for somebody instead of disrupting them by dropping them on the course index or dropping them on a login page confirmation. It just brought us right back where we want to be. So there you have it. That is the complete integration between WooCommerce and Thrive Apprentice. If you're a WooCommerce user and you love WooCommerce and all of the features and extended experiences that it offers from a variety of different plugin developers and you have your shop already set up on WooCommerce, there's no need for another tool. You can use this and build funnels using cart flows, which I'll go over in another video and you can use the subscription integrations and you can create a full experience now that works with Thrive Apprentice. So that's going to do it for me in this tutorial. Again, this is Doug at Convology. I hope this was useful. And if you have any questions, please feel free to leave a comment on the video or on convology.com. And I'll see you in the next video.